Hi guys, in this video, I would like to share with you how I successfully propagate my ZZ plant leaf cuttings by water propagation. The first thing I did was to cut up some stems from my ZZ plants. I choose stems with missing leaflets since they are unattractive to see. Using a knife or a scissor, cut off the leaflets together with petiolols. Leave some leaflets on the stem for stem propagation in water. It will be done in another video. Place the cutting somewhere away from direct sunlight and let the wounds dry overnight. By the time the cuttings are ready, you may now begin the water propagation. Put the base of the cuttings into the glass of water. Don't submerge the whole leaflets in the water. Just put enough water to submerge only the pitulols. In 4 to 5 weeks time, you can now enjoy watching little tubers and roots from the base of the cuttings. Don't forget to change the water in the glass once or twice a week. This will prevent rot. Though little tubers appeared at the base of the plant, yet there is still no sign of new shoots. After two months, new shoots appeared from the tubers of the leaflets. They look so healthy even when they were submerged in the water. This is now a proof that we can really grow a new ZZ plant by water propagation. By this time, you may option to transfer them in soil or just keep them in the glass of water. Zamia colcas zamifolia is known by many names. Among its common names are Zanzibar gem, Zizi plant, Zuzu plant, and emerald palm. Thank you for watching!